Hey guys, so after the official trailer leak of the Galaxy S21 Ultra, S21, and S21 Plus, Samsung has decided to confirm the official unpack date because everything has been leaked and there's no point in pretending that everything is fine. So props to Samsung's largest India store, they have spilled the beans on the Galaxy S21 series. So according to Samsung India, Galaxy S21 series will be announced globally on January 14th and the worldwide sales for the flagship series will happen on January 29th. In the meantime, users will be able to pre-book Galaxy S21 series. As always, there will be some surprises for those who do the pre-order. You might get the free Galaxy Buds Pro. We've also heard that Samsung may not be shipping charger or headphones out of the box according to the certification by Anatel. I really hope that Samsung ultimately does ship at least a charger inside the box. Now, Samsung India also confirmed another obvious thing, which is the Exynos processor for international markets. Exynos 2100 will be inside the Galaxy S21 lineup outside of US, South Korea, China, and Canada. And speaking of Exynos 2100, Samsung uploaded a very emotional kind of trailer on their YouTube channel thanking their fans. It almost feels like Samsung is kind of admitting their shortcomings of what they've done this year, especially with the Exynos 990 processor. I mean, despite having the worst flagship chip, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra managed to become the best-selling 5G phone on the market, which is incredible considering most markets are getting the Exynos 990 model. This is one mistake that Samsung don't want to repeat, which is why Exynos 2100 is coming with full force. Now, Ice Universe has given some early spoiler regarding Exynos 2100 versus Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. According to the current test, the speed is extremely fast and the performance is very good. That's what Ice Universe has said on Twitter. He further says that towards the end of December, we're going to see the official release of Exynos 2100 ending the the year with the most perfect scoop. Also, the next generation ultrasonic fingerprint scanner has arrived. According to Ice Universe, Samsung is finally implementing a bigger ultrasonic scanner. This is one feature that was heavily rumored with the last year's Galaxy S20 lineup, but for some reason, it didn't happen. And now Samsung is finally bringing perhaps the first phone on the market to have a bigger underscreen camera area. So you should be able to unlock your phone more comfortably compared to just putting the finger on a specific position. In addition to a larger screen area, the speed has been increased by 1.77 times, which in comparison to previous generation speed is almost the double. Ice Universe even says that there is no need for any kind of pressing. You literally have to tap to unlock. I have to say these last minute Galaxy S21 leaks have got me super excited. Now in case you forgot, the S Pen is coming officially with the S21 Ultra exclusively, so this is going to combine the best of both worlds. According to the recent rumors out of South Korea, the S Pen of the S21 series may not have air actions. So unlike the S Pen of Galaxy Note series, you won't be able to do certain functions like scrolling around by just waving the S Pen or changing the menus in the camera application. In my opinion, Samsung is taking away some of the gimmicky stuff. I feel like the most valuable fundamental S Pen feature is still there. It's still going to be the most updated S Pen with 9 millisecond delay. What you really want from a stylus is going to provide that minus all those extra features. And last but not the least, the interesting smartphone is back in the leaks again. The Galaxy F62 It is coming to India and uh, probably it might come to other markets as well. The reason why this phone is special is because it's rocking a flagship chip from the Galaxy Note 10 series, the Exynos 9825, along with 6 gigs of RAM and Android 11 right out of the box. We have a real life look of the design and you can see we have a squarish camera look. It's definitely having a plastic material. Most likely it's going to be a quad camera setup, but again, most notable thing is the inclusion of the Exynos 9825 chip. So that's all the latest news. The Unpacked is official January 14th. I will keep you guys updated with all the surprises, so make sure to subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.